Team C is playing rock, paper, and scissors to see who gets to pick their desired position. Izagi wins the game and chooses to become forward. Shortly after, Ego appears on the TV screen and he begins to re-explain the first selection. A round-robin tourney between five teams, with only the top two teams advancing forward in blue lock. An alternative to survive is to be the top scorer on your team at the end of the selection. With that information given, Ego states the first match Team X vs Team Z of the tourney will begin in two hours. Before the game, Team Z discusses their strategy and how they will center their plays around Izagi, even though they are unsure whether they can rely on him. Even with their doubt they steal themselves and walk out onto the field to face their opponents. Team X vs Team Z The game is set to last for 90 minutes with a break in between. The game starts with Bachira in possession of the ball. Izagi the forward is having a hard time breaking through the defense of Team X while thinking of a strategy to pass through Team X's defense. The ball is taken away from him by his teammate Raichi. Kunigami followed. Team X took advantage of the sudden turmoil and confusion of Team Z to steal the ball. However, much to Izagi's surprise, players of Team X also disregarded the idea of team play. All of the players started playing for themselves. Seeing the greedy play style of the players, Izagi remarks that this game isn't football. Players started becoming more physical towards their opponents and teammates as well. Nonetheless, amid the turmoil, someone was able to break through. Baro, in possession of the ball faces Izagi. Baro is from Team X and ranked 250th. Izagi is blocking Baro from passing. To pass Izagi, Baro does a heel flick. This move amazes Izagi, making him unable to react quickly. After that, Baro was able to pass through Kyuan and Imamura with nutmegs. Baro then kicks the ball towards the net. The goalkeeper Iman failed to stop the ball, resulting in the goal of Team X. After Baro's goal, his teammates were ecstatic and joyful. Baro however stated that he is not scoring in this match to make friends. He remarked that his teammate's sole purpose is to make him shine, declaring that he is the one true king. On the other hand, Team Z was not pleased with Team X scoring. Egiguri blamed Aiman for failing as a goalkeeper. Kyuan tried calming the other players, and Raichi blamed Izagi for his incompetence as a forward. Raichi then told Izagi to stick on defense instead. The game resumes. Since Team Z's players were playing selfishly, Izagi decided to pass between himself and Bachira alone. As the ball was going to Bachira, Egiguri stopped it. Egiguri told Izagi that Blue Lock's first selection was not about which team wins or loses. Instead, the important characteristic is the will to score as many goals as one can. Unfortunately, the ball was stolen from Egiguri by a player from Team X. To take advantage of Team Z's meltdown and selfish play style, players from Team X decided to pass all the balls to Barrow to win. Isigi, seeing Team X playing as a team, considered Team Z's win as hopeless and impossible. Leaving Barrow unmarked will allow him to score. However, if all of them covered him, players from Team X will be left open. The game reached a score of 5-0 with Team X in the lead. To make a comeback, Bachira suggested that he and Izagi must score to win. Hector ends with Izagi stating that he must become the foundation for Team Z, like how Baro is the foundation for Team X. Bachira suggests diverting the focus of Team X towards him to create a sneak attack with Izagi. After getting the ball from Bachira, Izagi must run and score a goal. With only 3 minutes left on the clock, it seems impossible to gain more than 5 goals to win the game. During the game, Bachira successfully passed the ball to Izagi. Izagi drives the ball and believed that the only thing left to do is to surpass the goalkeeper. Much to his surprise, Baro appears, making Izagi doubt his chances of scoring. Izagi then starts to lose confidence in himself. Raichi and Kunigami then appear, asking for Izagi to pass the ball instead. Izagi believes that he shouldn't pass the ball to survive blue lock. Surprisingly, he unconsciously kicks the ball towards Kunigami. Kunigami kicks the ball and scores. The score is now 5 to 1, with Team X in the lead. Raichi, on the other hand, is furious at Izagi for choosing to pass to Kunigami than him. Unlike Kunigami, Raichi is unmarked and in a preferable location. Baro then calls Izagi talentless. 
Barrow stated that a striker who chokes in front of the goal simply does not have what it takes to be won. The buzzer then rings, marking the end of the match. The match ended with a score of 5 to 1. T Max was declared the winner, while Team Z was the loser. After the game, Team Z is changing their clothes. While changing, Raichi stated that Izegiya's failure as a forward and striker resulted to the loss of their team. Raichi also said that to win in the next game, he must be the forward. Because of this, other players chimed in their opinions, stating that they should be the next strikers. On the other side of the room, Izegi reflects on what Baro told him. Izegi is unsure why he chose to pass to Kunigami instead of scoring by himself. Izegi wants to know how he can be of more help to Team Z. Team Z becomes chaotic, with each player claiming that they should be the striker in the next game. Kyuan then scolds Team Z. Kyuan explains how troubling Team Z's situation has been after losing to Team X. Kyuan explained that losing in their next game will result in the elimination of the whole team. Thus it isn't time for them to be thinking of themselves alone. After that, Team Z wondered what the first selection meaning was. Chidri remarked that it may have been related to playing football from scratch to work on each player's foundations. Izagi then said that he may have understood the purpose of the first selection. Izagi believes that the football by scratch that Ego described is similar or equal to a freestyle game. The chaos brought by the freestyle game, however, was destroyed by Baro when he successfully scored a goal. Baro then became the foundation of Team X. After witnessing Baro's sheer talent, his teammates improved their play by following Baro's lead. Izagi noted that a foundation is what Team Z needs to win. Team Z needs an overwhelming talent to carry the team towards victory. The first selection explains the importance of having a top-notch striker for a team to succeed. Ego then appears on the screen and tells Team Z that their conclusion is correct. Also, he showed the results of today's match and each team's rankings. Team V is first, X is second, W is third, Z is fourth, and Y is fifth. Ego then changes the topic to the importance of having a weapon. Every striker carries a weapon. A weapon that disrupts the opposite team's organization, making them yield and unable to move. Ego noted that every single elite striker carries their own unparalleled weapon. Team C is tasked with identifying and polishing their unique weapons. And this brings the anime to an end. Comment for part 4. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And turn on the notification bell so you never miss out on another video. Until next time, take care.